Turning now to your community focus, voters in southeastern Massachusetts will be tasked with deciding whether to keep or replace Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson this November. The Republican has been in the position for 25 years, and now Democrat Paul Haru is looking to unseat him. He joins us now live in studio. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me on, Kim. So most of our viewers probably know you best as the mayor of Attleboro, mm -hmm. but you do have some law enforcement in your background. So why do you think that you're best qualified for this position? Well, uh, the incumbent and I are very different. Mm -hmm. um, before he got into being sheriff, he didn't have any background in corrections. I worked in jail, I worked in prison, I've got management experience being the mayor of Attleboro, I manage a budget that's a lot, big, lot bigger than the current uh, Bristol County Sheriff's budget, and so I've got a good background for this. But it's definitely time for change. You know, I don't think anybody should be uh, sheriff for life like the incumbent wants to, or you know, I don't think I should be mayor for life. That's why when I ran for mayor, I told people I'd be two, maybe three terms. I'm in my third and final term, and so uh, you know, the incumbent sheriff though, I mean, he's certainly controversial. You know, big ties and big support of Don, uh, you know Donald Trump. Um, doesn't apologize for wearing a Confederate flag tie, you know, just says it was patriotic colors, which is unconscionable. Um, but, you know, he and I are very, very different. Even our management style, I mean, he's got a lot of lawsuits out against him, seven active right now. I don't have any, and in fact, I haven't lost any during my five years as mayor. You just mentioned certainly a lot of different topics that mm -hmm. you could get into, but what do you think is the one biggest issue that voters should pay attention to in this race? Uh, <sighs> He is failing us as a sheriff in terms of keeping the public safe and also uh, making sure that we're not wasting tax dollars. I would say it's those two issues because they go hand in hand. Bristol County has the highest rate of reoffending in the state. Mm -hmm. And when people come back into the system, that is costly to taxpayers. It's wasting a lot of money. But then you also have the lawsuits, which wastes a lot of money too. Money is going to those and it's not going to treatment programs. So it's sort of the whole approach to corrections where we really need to get serious about focusing on re rehabilitation. Um, the incumbent, you know, he says, if you don't like it here, don't come back. That doesn't work for people who have mental illness or a substance abuse issue, which is 80% of the population. On the topic of public safety, Sheriff Hodgson has been very outspoken on the topic of illegal immigration. Mm -hmm. He says that's an issue about public safety. Do you agree? It is for the federal government. The sheriff has no statutory authority to enforce federal immigration law. What the sheriff Hodgson is doing is he's dangling an, um, an emotional issue that's really anger provoking over here off to the side and meanwhile he's not doing a good job running the jail. Evidence of that, the high rate of suicide, the high rate of uh, reoffending, but he wants people to focus on this issue off to the side that the sheriffs in Massachusetts have no statutory authority to do. The job of a Massachusetts sheriff is to run a county jail. The law enforcement end of it is kind of a leftover from earlier days with unincorporated areas of Massachusetts where the sheriffs would actually patrol. Um, but there are no areas in Massachusetts that are unincorporated. So basically, that's the law enforcement is left to the local, state, and federal government. Um, the job of the sheriff is to run the county jail. But that's why Hodgson wants you to think about immigration. It's emotional, it's anger provoking, and he wants you to be focused on that. But he can't do anything about it, really, except run his mouth. Uh, this is obviously a political office. You're running as a Democrat. He is a Republican. The primary was pretty civil, mm -hmm. but your former opponent in the primary, Nicholas Bernier, is not endorsing you. Mm -hmm. If someone in your own party is not going to back you, why should the voters? Um, well, I have a solid record as mayor. I was re-elected with 67 percent, re-elected with 66 percent as mayor. Um, we tripled the police training budget. We have added more police officers. You know, I've done a good job for Attleboro. Uh, we have doubled the city stabilization account, which is the city, stabiliza uh, city savings account. Went from 2.9 million to 7 million dollars. No lawsuits. I've done a good job. Um, Nick is a little bit sore with me because I did a mailing that uh, had a contrast piece in it. He felt like it went negative. All it talked about was experience uh, man with management, manage experience with corrections, which I have and he didn't have. And so he felt like that was negative and he hasn't uh, gotten over that. <laughs> so, um, but you know, it, it, that comes with the territory in, uh, in politics. That's what a primary is about. It's about talking about your differences and p offering a contrast. All of the points on the mailing that he was upset about were points we discussed in the debate on WBSM um, a night before the mailing landed. And it was all stuff that he and George had been talking, George McNeil, the other Democrat. Um, so it wasn't anything that was negative. It was just, this is my experience in corrections. This is theirs, or the lack thereof. This is my experience in management. This is theirs. And it was just a simple contrast. But I would say, look at my record as um, as mayor. 66% uh, reelected, you know, last year. 67% two years before it. People in Attleboro have been pretty happy with me. 
Well, that is all the time that we have. Attleboro Mayor and Democratic candidate for Bristol County Sheriff, Paul Haru, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Kim. Thanks for having me.